last stones going in. Hello, welcome back. Oh, it's a beautiful sunny February. We're into February already. Wow. And it's starting to warm up, which is really nice. This video I'm going to dedicate to the well. I really want to get it done and I'm going to get it done in this video. So there might be a slight delay in getting this out. There's a little bit to go. The top bit is going to be the, the fiddly bit, I think. It is starting to take shape and I'm looking forward to getting it sorted out. So the stone wall in this video will be completely finished. That's a good one. The water level there, I don't know if you heard that, the water level here, the hunters are up in the hill. The water level there is pretty good. They're only about a meter or so down from the top ring. Of course, we know in the summertime that it's gonna drop down considerably, but we also know it's gonna come back up, which is good. So I'm just having a little chuckle to myself because I was reading the comments on the last video, 106, <laughs> regarding that satellite dish did make me laugh the amount of people that suggested I use that dish for a cover on this well. It's a really good suggestion and I have to admit whilst I was lugging it onto the roof of the car it's exactly what went through my mind but I came back here and had a look and thought yeah it's not really practical it probably isn't going to work as I well as I thought it would work so I'm going to stick to my plan and have the uh, metal framework over there and the chicken coop will have a nice roof over it but it did get me thinking what would be really nice going forward, I am going to do this, is to, whenever I gather some bits and bobs from the dump, I'll see what things I can make that are practical for here, and I'll put suggestions forward. And in the comments, 
I'll pick the one that gets the most, I guess, thumbs up and uh, we'll see what happens and if I can make it, possibly. I'll probably screw it up, but we'll see. It's getting closer. You wish you wore gloves. No, it's alright, Shane. Hands are fine. Okay, we've got seating area sorted, we've got our first top stone in place. Now what I've got to do is work my way all the way around and get it as level as possible. For those of you who have ever built a stone wall before, you'll know, especially if you're picking random stones from around the land, it's so time consuming. It really is, but the reward is there, it's going to look lovely when it's done. You may notice in my videos I mention the weather quite often. I don't do that for my benefit. I do it because I think it could come in useful for those of you that are watching my videos regularly. A lot of people choose to come out to the Algarve on holiday. And I guess if I can give you an indication of what it's like going through the course of the year in real time, it might help you decide what month you'd like to come out. Also, for those of you who are planning on moving out here. So I think what I'll do is every few weeks or so, I'll put a screen grab like I'm gonna do here of the weather forecast during this week. and. Uh, might come in useful. I was originally planning on building this dry without using cement, but because the stones are so random, it's kind of made it too difficult for me to do that. Although I have built, since I've been out here, close to 300 meters of wall, chest height on the previous houses it doesn't get any quicker or easier i have to say unless you're doing it every single day but i think on the front of the house when i uh, start building that wall i'm going to tackle that as a drywall it means i'm going to have to go around the land and start finding some really good rectangular or square stones so they're easier to lay in the meantime a little bit of cement in here to hold it all in place at least i know it's going to be structurally solid
Right, Will is waiting for me patiently over there. He can hear the sheep in the background. The sun is starting to go down. It's about 20 past five, but we have got what looks like the start of a well. I'm gonna take Will for a walk, come back, and then I need to wash off all of the excess cement that's on those stones, because once it's dry, it's really hard to get it off. Should we go? Come on. What do you reckon, Will? Can we get this done? I think we can. It is morning, beautiful day. Couldn't ask for better. Tell you, after being cooped up in that house for what feels like a long time now, it's such a relief to get outside into the sun. All that vitamin D. I have been getting a tiny bit of cement down into the well, unfortunately, which is really difficult to avoid. Not too much, not gonna make an ounce of difference. All sinks to the bottom using a brush i found is a really nice way just to tidy up the cement inside the stones oh, i reckon two more mixes and we'll be done I knew that was going to happen. There we go. Oh, look at that. Spot on. Can you see that? I'm aching. It is Monday. I've been at the house all day today. Plastering, plastering, more plastering. And well, last night it was dark, but I did manage to finish the well, I'm pleased to say. And boy, am I glad to get that out of the way. I'm gonna show you now what it looked like before, before I show you what it looks like now. Comfy. Let's get comfy. Oh, I'm really proud of this. It's turned out pretty good, I have to say. 
Although it wasn't until I just sent the drone up that I realised that it's not a perfect circle, but you can't get it right every time. It is a thick wall. You can see by my hand here, I've all there, been where you can see how thick it is. And that was my concern because the original well was close to two and a half metres diameter. And obviously with these rings going in there a little bit sh um, narrower, smaller diameter. But with this stone wall on top now, it's taking it back out to close to three metres, which is... Uh, great because on this plot of land it was looking a little bit piddly but now it's looking like it's meant to be here rain tomorrow and that hopefully will clear up a lot of the dry stuff that's on here it was a lot of hard work getting this sorted out and uh yeah i'm really glad to get it out of the way now the cover that i'm going to be putting down on top of here i'm going to do that next week in the meantime i'll just continue putting that fencing over the top here to keep it nice and safe but overall yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I did mention that I had some holes in the top and I was gonna tell you what they were for. I actually covered over one over there because I don't think I need it. The idea is, is that I can at some point have something coming up and down into there and then put a hook on it and then I can lower buckets up and down, which probably won't get much use, but it's gonna look quite nice. In the meantime, I'm gonna be obviously using the uh, pump, which will sit on that seat there. One of the things I did notice though from the last couple of months actually, in fact, oh, probably last year, but I didn't do anything about it, um, is doing physical work like this and I'm working seven days a week. It's very draining and I feel incredibly tired. I've lost a lot of weight and a lot of muscle has disappeared off of me. So I've got myself a little challenge this year to see if I can bulk up, get all the proteins in me and the nutrients, etc. And I'm going to make a, a big effort to see if I can, especially by the time I get started on my house, if I can get a little heavier because uh, it really does help. Uh, I think it's time to celebrate as well. So I'm going to have a beer. I think I'll clean all this mess up another day. Yeah, definitely another day. Right. I'm off. Wheels off. So I'll say goodbye. Next video on Saturday. We're back at the house in the village doing the plastering. And uh, I think it's starting to take shape now. So I can't wait to show you. In the meantime, have a fantastic remainder of the week. And hopefully you'll tune in to the next video on Saturday. Until then, take care. Look after yourselves. Bye for now.